Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now, today, you all, <laughs> we have got to talk about how angry, mad, upset a lot of these females are that their biggest finesse tactic is going away. All right. I will be sharing my screen in a second. But I, I got to give some background, all right? We got to give the background. I don't know if you all remember, but a few months ago, we talked about how a lot of these women were actually uh, scoping out starter husbands, right? I had no idea that this was even a thing. I didn't. And a lot of you all didn't either. But apparently, it was this thing to where a lot of women young women right because you want to do it while you're young so you can build your wealth they would strategically go out into the world to plot and play on the rich wealthy well-to-do men and then get these men to marry them right then these women would divorce these men and take half if not all of his wealth right so that was a thing hey i see that this man here has a lot of money has a lot of access a lot of assets a lot of resources let me get in good with him get him to marry me stay with him for i don't know six months to a year maybe two then leave him take whatever resources money access assets i'm able to get out of him then use it to my benefit so i can build off of it for the next man right and they would go on and on and on until they reached a level to where they felt like they were comfortable enough to just coast right this was a thing this is still a thing a starter husband is still a thing but with these new laws coming into motion, ah, it's going to crack down on a lot of that. A lot of this stuff will be eliminated. You just watch. See, with these laws changing you all, it makes it extremely difficult for females to be manipulative, to get over, to be destructive, to use, to take advantage of. Right? Less and less men will be able to be taken advantage of because these laws are being removed. And then there are heavy consequences that are being placed upon these females if they do just so happen to try to get one off. So I don't know if you're going to be able to have a starter husband to eat off of and build your wealth off of and coast and live off of. That, that's going away. That's one of the biggest reasons why a lot of these females are upset about this. See, now you're going to have to actually marry these men because you actually care about these men. Now you're going to have to actually be with these men because you're genuinely and authentically in it for the long run. So again, these laws changing are really shaking things up. It's turning a lot of women's uh, plots and schemes on their head upside down. The tables keep turning, y'all. I don't know if y'all are bear witness to what I'm witnessing, but hmm, it's looking like the men are having a fair shot. And ultimately, it's helping the men to win. OK, men keep winning with a lot of these new laws that are being implemented. These new laws are really helping these guys out. And I'm not mad about it. You know, and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. We have got to get into this. Let me say this before I share my screen. You all these new laws that are changing. It is not even this thing to where these laws are changing to the detriment of women and to just hype and big these men up. It's not even that, that is not the case. The case with these laws is, it's only making the playing field fair, leveled out and balanced. 
these laws should have been the laws. It should have never been a thing to where women were able to pimp the system and use the system to their own uh, financial gain and benefit while, you know, completely turn down the men that have sacrificed for them, loved them, taken good care of them, provided, protected. It should have never even been a thing. So for these new laws to just now be coming into effect, that's trash. But nonetheless, I am happy about it. Why? Because like I said earlier, there will be less and less females inclined to do certain things that they know is wrong for their own gain. Less and less men will be taken through the ringer. Less and less men will be out here uh, being taken advantage of, being used up. It's a great thing. And let me also say this. This is also going to highlight a lot of the women that are genuine. You'll know that a woman wants to be with you for you due to these new laws. Because if she didn't, she just wouldn't even marry you. Why? Because there's no way to finesse you now. Right? I can't just scope you out, see that you got money, and then leave you in six months and take half of what you got. You know what I'm saying? Like, so now they have no choice but to marry for the right reasons. It can't be just because, oh, I plan on ditching him in a few months or, you know, maybe a few years and then being able to live and build generational wealth off of him. That, that's not going to be a thing anymore. And I know that is going to be a huge reason why a lot of females are upset. But here's the thing. Let me share my screen. And y'all like the video. Here's the thing, though. With these new laws changing and these females understanding that they're not going to be able to finesse the system and these men, how they used to be able to finesse and use them, they're going to try to fight tooth and nail to not have these things to, to change. They don't want these laws to change. It's much easier to get with the sucker, right? It's much easier to get with the man that felt like you really were into him and use him. Either or, right? Let's break that down. Well, if I get with a sucker, an easy lick, what we like to call a simp lollipoppy, right? Um, yeah, I can easily get him to fall in love with me, be with me, um, provide for me, do whatever I want him to do. Because after all, you know, he's sweet on me, right? It'll be so easy to just take him up through there. He won't, he, he's not even somebody that is wise enough, intelligent enough to see me coming. So that's first things first when it comes to the suckers. Second off, with the men that you convinced to love you by what? Baiting and switching, right? Oh no, yeah, I really am this ideal woman that you thought I should be, that you thought I was. Oh yeah, I really am into you. And then once you marry her, the true her comes to the surface. But either way, hey, it's a finesse. Either way, I got the bag. Either way, I was able to get in where I fit in and get what I came for. So whether you were a sucker, a simp lollipoppy, an easy lick, or just a guy that fell for my tricks, either way, I eat. There's no, you know, having any kind of paper trail to show and prove why I'm leaving you with this no fault divorce. All that I know is it's over now, okay? And I'm taking what I came to get. But with no fault divorce going away, that's not going to be a thing. That's not going to be so easy to execute upon as far as scoping out a simp lollipop or a sucker or easy lick. 
uh, or, you know, finessing the guy into really believing that you're a genuine woman and then taking advantage of him. That's not going to happen like that. But since a lot of these females know and understand that, they are now trying to paint this picture of being a victim. Let's get into it. Y'all like the video? Share the video and subscribe, you all. They can't outright say that the reason that they are upset about these laws changing is because they're not going to be able to finesse anymore. Instead, they have to paint up this narrative of, well, this is dangerous for us. It's bad that the no-fault divorce is going away because, you know, now you're pushing us into a corner and now we're going to have to show and prove to you all that we're really in a toxic situation. And maybe I'm not going to be able to do that as a battered woman. So, yeah, it, this is a bad thing. Let's listen. All right, because this is one of the tactics and one of the angles that a lot of these females will try to utilize in order to, you know, pull on your heartstrings, make you feel like, hey, we're not these manipulative creatures that are just trying to get over on men. You know, the reason why we need no fault divorce is because we're in toxic environments. We're dealing with very, um, how can I put this? Uh obtusive yeah i know youtube we're we're dealing with very obtusive men and so we need to be able to just leave and not be obtused okay and you know no fault divorce was a way to do that make it more easy for the battered woman to be able to leave without having to show and prove or plead a case but let's let's keep the gang you all Let's peep the game. A lot of these females don't want no fault divorce to go away because it makes the finesse harder. Let's be real. But nonetheless, these are the narratives that they will push. Let's listen. And again, y'all like the video. You're going to end up with a lot of separated people who are still legally married because they can't divorce under their state laws if we do this. It's a bad idea. Bad plan. There's a reason women in the women's liberation movement fought for no-fault divorces across the United States. There's also a reason the church has fought against it and claimed that they were redefining marriage. You don't need to go back on this one. It protects women, it also protects men, especially anyone in an abusive relationship. It gets them a way out where they don't have to prove that abuse and the onus isn't on them. So pay attention to these laws and do what you can to let your representatives know you don't support them. That's why the women's liberation movement fought against the no-fault divorce laws. Of course, they couldn't claim that the man was an abuser or a bad husband as they simply wanted to marry the man for his money and quickly divorce him while still young, but keeping all his money to enjoy it with someone else, like the Chad, while they were still young enough to have children. Oh, hold on. Because he just came out swinging. He like, yeah, sure. That's the real reason why, you know, y'all don't want to get rid of no fault divorces because it's going to make it make it so much harder for you to leave these situations to where you're being battered and all of this. Right. But what he's saying is nah, not so fast. Not so fast. A lot of you females didn't want to get rid of the no fault divorce because it takes away your finesse tactic. Let's be real. Let's be honest about it. Let's be real. Let's be honest about it, ladies. Now, are there levels and layers to where that could be the case? Absolutely. However, the, the majority and the bulk of y'all, y'all don't want to get rid of it because it's going to take away your bag and your way out. He said, yeah, sure. That, sh that can be your reason. Of course you would say that because you would look like a bad person to say, oh, well, I really don't want to get rid of the no fault divorce because, you know, I need to be able to leave this man while I'm still young. Go and take his money that I'm taking away from him to latch onto the next man. Live my life with the guy that I really want to be with 
and continue on, move forward in that way. You would sound terrible to say that. So, of course, you have to paint this narrative of, oh, well, you know, it's going to make it so much harder for the battered women. Like, come on, please stop. And even if that is the case, and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Even if that is the case, you all, to where getting rid of the no-fault divorce would make it more difficult for the women that are in very uh, toxic situations, Y'all did that. Oh. Y'all did that. Congratulations, ladies. You messed it up for your sisters that really needed such a thing. Let's go there for a second. Let's go there for a second. See, y'all are out here taking advantage, misusing the system in mass and now that it's turning on its head and the tables are turning y'all are the ones that are responsible for your sisters being stuck in situations that are not ideal for them it's your fault you should never abuse the system now they're having to suffer the consequence of your actions but see, this is happening all across the board. All across the board, due to these toxic females taking advantage, being manipulative, being destructive and counterproductive, the quality women, the women that mean well, the women that actually need and deserve certain things, they get punished, they get penalized. When it comes to marriage, when it comes to relationships, dating, families, they get penalized because of you. A lot of you chicken heads. Yeah, boop, boop, chicken heads. I said it. Y'all come through doing the most destructive, counterproductive things. Thinking that you're getting away with it. Thinking that you're winning. But you're not even thinking about the long-term effects of this. You're not thinking about, oh, well, dang, by me conducting myself like this and by me misusing the system like this, this could have a negative impact on future women, future generations, hell, even myself. Because all we think about is ourselves and the right here and right now. So even if that is the case, well, ladies, too bad, so sad. This is the bed that you not only made for yourself, but also your sisters. This is why I go so hard on you females. Y'all think, oh, you go hard on us because you just hate women. You just hate the real women. No, it's because I actually love the authentic, true women. And I know that by you doing certain things, it will come back on them. It will come back to bite them. So now less and less of the authentic women are getting married. Less and less of the authentic women are having families. Less and less of the authentic women are being taken seriously because the bulk of you females ain't ish. Trash. So yeah, even if this no-fault divorce law going away is a bad thing for the women that are actually in terrible situations, y'all did that though. Like the video. Let's continue. But they would not let such a law be passed as it would ruin their whole scheme. All the laws that go against marriage were fought by the women's liberation movement because they clearly fight for their economic interest. As I said, every time a millionaire goes through a divorce, a new millionaire is born who never worked a day in her life for that money, but now gets all the benefits from it. If you doubt it, just ask Tiger Woods. Oh. Do you believe, brothers, that if they didn't receive all the benefits they get today from a divorce they would still divorce their husbands. I'm sure that the divorce rate of 80% would drop to around 30%, if not lower. Without the economic security at the end of the process, they would have to go out and work, earn a living through hard work. If something like this were to happen, the whole business of these women, especially divorce lawyers who profit greatly from this, would collapse. But the question for you 
What do you think is the number one reason why women divorce so much nowadays? That is a good question to ask. I want to ask you all. And then we're going to have to play that back. Because I need him to speak in entirety with that one. And I got to intervene and interject here and there. But what do you all think is, you know, the number one reason why women get divorced or women file for divorce? Because to my knowledge, the women are the number one filers. So why do y'all think women are filing for divorce? What's the number one reason? But yeah, like, let's take this back a little bit, though. Because he spoke on some facts real quick. A lot of these females trying to play up this whole victim role as far as these laws going away. But really, they're just trying to eat. Right? They're just trying to get to the bag. They don't want to have to work. Taking advantage of men is their business. That's the LLC. Taking advantage of men, that's the biz. That's the LLC for these females. There was no hard work that went behind that. There was no years of planning. No, no, no. It was simply scoping out a guy, playing on his heartstrings, manipulating him, getting him to believe your lies, and then capitalizing. Let's go ahead. And again, y'all like the video. People divorce their husbands. I'm sure that the divorce rate of 80% would drop to around 30%. Now, he says that he believes that if these laws do change, as far as a no-fault divorce, he believes that it would drastically drop as far as the amount of women filing for divorce. Do you all agree with that? Put a one in the chat if you agree with that. Do you agree that if these laws were to change, the divorce um, filings would go down? Put a one. Put a two if you disagree. All right. But yeah, a lot of these females, they're only filing for divorce, in my opinion, in bulk, right? Due to the fact that they want to be able to eat off of this man's resources and his access and his money while not being attached to him right they want to they want to be able to live freely off the next man i want to be able to live like i'm single but have money like i'm married to a billionaire type of energy that's their motivation that's their objective So I also am going to take a step further and say this. I also believe that a lot of women will not even want to be married in the first place now. With these laws going away, you all, there will be less and less women even wanting to get married. Why? Because they're not going to be able to finesse. And again, that's why I think it's a good thing because now you men will be able to see what woman is genuine, what woman is authentically and truly into you that really wants to be with you for the long haul, not just to snatch a bag. That's why I think it's a good thing with these laws changing, making it fair, balanced, there will be more successful and thriving marriages. Because it's not going to be this finesse tactic that goes into marriage, that goes into the reason behind wanting to be married. It's a great thing. If not lower, without the economic security at the end of the process, they would have to go out and work, earn a living through hard work. Yeah. See, and that's not what a lot of women want to do. Let's be honest, you all. It's in our nature as women to do as less as possible, all right? That's why the man is the provider. That's why the man is the protector. That's why the man is the leader. We don't want to have to work too much, think too much, do too much. Come on, you know? But the thing is, ladies, with that in mind, men are looking for a woman that is going to make his life easier and better and more enjoyable. So yes, 
since you don't want to work, since you don't want to think too much, you know, hey, you have to add on to my life in a positive way to add value, right? Because I'm going to be the one that is taking on that responsibility as far as working, doing the thinking, being the one that puts the plans into motion. So what I'm going to need from my woman is love, cooperation, support, patience, understanding, somebody that listens, follows directions. That doesn't take too much energy. Somebody that is going to lighten my load in more ways than one, baby. You know? So, yeah, men understand the roles. Men understand, look, we don't want to do too much. They're going to do that for you. But you're going to have to be this person for me. You're going to have to be my helpmate, my help me. You're going to have to do that. It's not a free ride. So he's speaking facts. If something like this were to happen, the whole business of these women, especially divorce lawyers who profit greatly from this, would collapse. Mm, that's something else, you all. See, this was big business for everybody involved. The whole system was eating off of this. The, the whole system was eating off of this. So what does this say, you all? For them to be out here changing these laws like this to where they were eating heavily off of it, it spoke volumes to how many men were opting out. Y'all like the video. Hear me out, you all. Let me break this down. He said not only was getting married and then divorcing men big business for these females, for these wives, quote unquote, quote unquote but it was also a big business for these lawyers, the court system and all of that. So if they are going to remove these laws, doesn't that really highlight just how much money they were actually losing by not having the men to opt into playing these games with these females? Like, dang, uh, we're actually missing out on the money because the men are not going anymore. I hope y'all following me. It's like, damn, we might as well get rid of these laws because we're not even able to capitalize off of them. Why? Because men are not getting married. Men were not playing you all, all across the board. And not only did women see it, but the system saw it. And the system was like, hold on. The men are the breadwinners. The men are the money makers. I can't make money off of them if they're not gonna play the game. If men are not gonna play the game of marriage, I can't eat off of it anyway. So I might as well get rid of these laws so that they can at least be intrigued or enticed enough to play. I got to eat in some way, shape, or form. But for men to just be walking away like this, that says that it got serious out here. It's getting serious out here. Men are not playing about their money, their time, their love, their lives, their kids. This is serious. So, yeah, ladies, y'all can be out here like, oh, this is so bad for us because, you know, some of us are in toxic situations and we need to be able to leave without pleading our case and all of this and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, even if that is the case for some women, that's on y'all. Y'all did that. Y'all made that bad for them. Hopefully you all can band together as a sisterhood and get those women some help. Get her out of that situation. I mean, it's the least that you can do for, you know, getting these laws removed for her. Hold on. See, this is ultimately why these females are mad, you all. They're mad because now they're going to have to actually work, first things first, there's no more eating and living off the next man's money. 
There's no eating and living off the next man's hard work. No, you get up and you get out. Do something. If you want to do all of that and be lazy and not contribute, not appreciate, not reciprocate, get up and get it yourself. So again, I feel like it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. More and more of the authentic women will show up because they're going to be the ones signing up to be married. They're going to be the ones that want to be married. Like I said, you all, <laughs> I can only imagine how many women will not want to be married now because there's no finesse in it. But the women who are authentic, yeah, they still want to get married because they... They believe in family. They believe in actually building generational wealth, not just for themselves, but for their husbands, for their children, their families. Come on. The finesse game is over, ladies. It's a wrap. It's done. Taking advantage of these men, milking them dry. Leaving them without a penny, that's done. <laughs> but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, do you think that no-fault divorce is a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Um, will you be more inclined to get married with all these laws changing? Or are you still done? Y'all let us know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Y'all go ahead and take this time out once again to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and I'm going to see you all in our next dope discussion. Peace.